Hey, what up, Eddie MCT guy? So, I got a big box. Oh, it's got to be at least uh, 30 pounds. It's heavy. I got a little story about this. This is actually a shipment that I just got in from Classic Firearms. Good old Classic Firearms. So, I placed an order February 25th, 2021. And so I was like, okay, ammo crisis, gun crisis, everybody's going crazy. This is going to take a while. Okay. So I gave it time. I gave it two weeks. Nothing happened. Nothing. So after two weeks, I reached out to Classic Firearms and I said, hey, um, what's going on with this order? What's, how come it's um, still in limbo here? Nothing's going on. It says it was packed when I go search online and check my account. One of the representatives, and they got back to me quickly, but they uh, told me that they can't get any information. They don't know what's going on. I was like, that's weird. So I wait another week, and I still get nothing. Get another week, another week. Today is the 29th of March. I just got this in today. This shipped five days ago. So this was sitting, and I know this for a fact, this was sitting packed up in this box since March 1st because I could check on the tracking. The label was created on March 1st and nothing happened with it. So it sat with them for that long. They didn't know what was going on. I started to think maybe they weren't going to ship it to me because I'm in Connecticut, but I am in good with classic firearms. They have my Curial and Relic license, they have all my pictures of my IDs, my permit, everything. They got everything on file. I make sure of it. I had my FFL, local FFL all set up. So that shouldn't have been a problem. And I speak to the same person every single time. They know who I am. They've shipped CNR guns to my house. But nobody could tell me what was going on. So I got to a point where I said to them, listen, why don't you just cancel my order? and send me uh, one of those 6.5 Carcanos, uh, they had 6.5 Carcano rifles um, in stock and they were like 269 bucks. I said, send me one of those, but don't charge me the extra. They couldn't do that either. They couldn't switch my order because they said to me, the order was packed. Another proof that this was packed, ready to go with a label created, but it's just sitting there in their warehouse. I don't know. I've ordered many things from Classic Firearms and even during this craziness and it's come within a couple weeks so I don't know what's going on with that but you know I went on the Better, Better Business Bureau and looked up classic firearm complaints and there was uh, quite a bit of them uh, similar to mine um, and a lot of people had their orders just cancelled and refunded so I thought that was going to be my fate until five days ago when they got a notification saying they shipped my order so that was good news. I got it, and you're probably wondering why is he rambling and not telling us what the. So I'm gonna open the box and we'll talk about what it is as we open. Nice trusty knife. This is a cool knife. It's a uh, uh, more more Kenev, uh, made in Sweden. Probably one of the sharpest knives I own. Um, I got this on Amazon. Wasn't that expensive? Super sharp knife. Nice having a knife like this, but yeah, find it on uh, Amazon, and it's spelled uh, M-O-R-A-K-N-I, I think that's a V at the end, but, you know, whether they maybe they call it a Mora knife, Mora, okay, anyway, made in Sweden, nice sharp knife, so we're going to open this box up, we're going to cut myself while I open it. This is what I had to wait a month for, but I'm excited that I finally got one of these. I don't have to worry about getting this type of ammo anymore. You probably already see it in this. And it's stuck in the box. Okay. Let's perform some surgery here. Yeah, so... One of my subscribers told me about this and other, uh, that's why I love you guys, you guys tell me one of these cool things, told me that this was available uh, at one 
point. So I basically kept this uh, as a Notify Me product on Classic Firearms, which they're pretty good. They email you right away when it becomes available, but stuff like 9mm goes like that. And you don't even try. You're not going to get it. Check out my image, ammo shortage tips and tricks video so you can find out what to do. But ordering ammo online these days has just been absolutely worthless, expensive, outrageous, uh, not worth it. And you know, the people selling it, they know they can get the money for it. So, but there's ways. And this is one of them, like I, was, I said in my ammo trick, tips and tricks. So, this is pretty cheap. Relatively speaking, it's a spam can. I've gotten a few of these in my life. Spam cans. I'm happy I finally got one of these. So, to give you your uh, inspection card, nice classic Russian inspection. Card. That was funny. My video just decided it was going to stop recording. I think I talked for a good uh, five to seven minutes with absolutely nothing going on. Anywho, so I just got this. It's really cool. I got it from uh, Classic Firearms, like I mentioned. Anyway, I um, got it for $199. Uh, it was plus tax and shipping came out to $240. 1,092 rounds. For two hundred and forty dollars, uh, I'd say the end of March two thousand twenty-one. That's a pretty good deal. I don't know about you. So this standard Russian markings on here. This is I don't know, probably means seven six two Nagant. Uh, this is designation, probably factory. I don't think that's the year. I don't think this stuff was made in thirty nine. Assuming it probably was made in eighty seven. But you got me. There's a lot of numbers on here that I don't understand. You know, judging by this cool piece of paper, who knows? It could be. So what do you get in here? You get these guys. Little 14 round boxes, 108 grain. Oh, let me show you the box better. It's, people have been clamoring that I'm not showing the stuff like this too clearly. But anyway, you get these guys in it. Recessed bullet. 7.62 Nagant goes in the 7.62 Nagant revolver. Um, yeah, so you get a bunch of these packs. Don't know how many exactly. You got to do the math. 14 divided by 1,092, and you get, I don't know, 70. Who knows? I got a bunch of these already. I've been buying piecemeal, as you guys probably know in my previous videos, ammo trip tips and tricks to talk about oddball calibers. Um, but I'm going to probably save this, put it into my uh, stockpile, and when I run out of the loose packs, I'll probably break into this. So you're probably wondering how you break into something like this. you got to use the right tool for the job, and that's a spam can opener. This is military issue, not American military, but I don't think. I don't think we ever did spam cans like this, but um, yeah. So, you know, I think we made it. When we make ammo, we probably don't store it in uh, stuff like this. We put it in uh, storage cans, those uh, those boxes. I don't know what they're called. But anyway, um, so how do you open it? You basically, there's a lip here. You take the end. You got to basically put your lip of the spam can into this notch here. So you basically turn it this way, and then turn it, and then it's in. And it looks something like that. And then you basically break the seal first. You pull down as hard as you can. This right here breaks into the can. And you basically go around the edge like this, cutting it open. And it'll make a, still make a pretty sharp cut. I've seen people using stuff like screwdrivers and hammers, but in my opinion, extremely unsafe. Um, you know, it could hit a primer and could, one of these bolts could go off and it will explode the bullet and could cause a chain reaction. I don't, you know, maybe not. I definitely don't want to test that though. So you got to use the, the right tool for the job and that's getting one of these, um, spam can, 
can openers. Um, it's important. But yeah, no, I'm excited I got something like this. One of my subscribers mentioned uh, that's what he got. And uh, I went to Classic Firearms and put this on notification. And I was able to uh, get a notification and I bought it immediately. $199, not too bad. So if you have an opportunity to pick up a spam can, definitely do it. Um, this kind of stuff is, is definitely drying up. Um, I think you could still probably find spam cans of the 762 by 25 Toka Rev out there. Um, if you look, um, I've seen some, uh, maybe because it's not as popular of a round just like this. Um, but, you know, there was a time not too long ago, actually, when I bought this, when I bought the Mosquito, when I bought this spam can opener, oh, got him. Anyway, spam can opener, I bought this uh, around that same time, I think it was 2011, spam cans of 762 by 54, which is the most in the got round, were going for $69 um, for 440 rounds. Now, I don't think you can buy one of those spam cans for under 300, 200. It's astronomical how much it inflated. Cause the reason being is not only because we're going through the ammo crisis right now and the shortages and uh, panic buying, um, we're also going through um, import restrictions and this stuff drying up and not coming over and companies, very few companies knowing how to do the import of surplus from overseas and also wanting to take the risks and it, you know I've also heard that importing firearms and ammunition from overseas like surplus stuff it's a high risk thing. Uh, you could lose your entire shipment in customs. And, you know, well, not a lot of custom companies want to do the paperwork, necessary paperwork, and they won't want to go through the, the hassle, the risks. It, it's just a very expensive, expensive endeavor. But, you know, if, you, if you're good at it, you can make some money on it. So, but I digress. Um, Again, not a lot of stuff is coming through like this. Um, I used to buy spam cans of 545 by 39, which is AK-74 round. I actually have an AR-15 that shoots that round. I used to buy those same spam cans. Um, I can't remember exactly how many came in, if it was over a thousand rounds per spam can. And I was getting that stuff for, I think, $120, $130 shipped to my house. Um, great prices, but Again, you know, unfortunately, we have a government who's actively trying to stop import of ammunition and firearms from overseas, and the Barack Obama administration was successful in that, and unfortunately, there was not enough backlash from the public, like there was for green tip ammunition, uh, and the AK-74 guys, uh, well, I guess there wasn't enough of them, or they didn't care as much, I don't know, but they were successfully able to ban the importation of uh, the 545 by 39 ammunition, uh, claiming it that it was uh, armor, armor piercing ammunition. So I'm not going to go into the whole history and the restrictions and all that, but supposedly you can't import uh, armor piercing rifle ammunition or pistol ammunition from overseas. And they were able to get that done. So whatever's here now, you could buy 7N6 ammunition, that's what it's called, 7N6 ammunition, but it's really expensive. Um, I'm sitting on some, not a lot, but I bought some uh, when I was buying the spam cans. And, you know, I can't get any more. It's just only the new production stuff, the Russian stuff that's coming out. So anyway, so if you see a spam can and you have the ability to purchase it for a, a gun of yours, uh, do it. I think Tula is making um, all their calibers and spam cans, new new production spam cans. So it's a great way to keep stuff like this uh, sealed for long periods of time. As you could see, if this is even if this was an '87, you know we're pushing you know 30 plus years on this thing already. Or well, actually pushing almost 40 years. Uh, at this point, six more years, this is a 40 year old can. Um, but if I've seen stuff like the 762 by 54 uh, being from the 50s, from the 40s in spam cans, you know, and it's still just as good as the day it was packed. So 
if you can get it, get it. Um, and it's just a suggestion, but this stuff is uh, pretty neat. So anyway, guys, I, I can ramble on all night. Um, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Like, subscribe, comment. And um, I know this is not a normal video. We're going to get out and do some shooting soon. But I appreciate everybody watching and making comments because without the, your comments, I would have never known that Classic Firearms makes this. So I really appreciate it. And uh, keep watching, subscribe, like, comment, and uh, a DMCT guy signing off.